Let's bring her in. Oh, Yay. God, Liz. Hello. Hi. Hiya, Pat. Oh, my God, you look like you just come out of the shower. Well, thanks very much. In a good way, like in a... Yeah, a in, a, in a nice anyway. way. Well, in a <laughs> Should have put some clothes on. No, I like you just the way you are. Oh, thank you. Good morning. Morning. How are you? I'm very, very well. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you both. Nice to meet you too. Hello. Obviously, this is the first time you've been on the show. First time yes. we've met. Yes. So I'm going to ask you questions that obviously you've been asked before. Okay. But I was reading up about you. So you... The way it was sold to me was, is you got divorced... Yes. And then thought you'd try stand-up comedy. Yes. And is that true? That's Pretty absolutely true. Right. I okay. think some people like take to the drink, or some people <laughs> go out on the town a bit more often, or some people, you know, sort of sleep around or whatever. But I didn't. I just went on stage and wow. told people about my feelings. Oh. <laughs> and they laughed and it worked. Yeah, it's a rich vein of material, though, isn't it? You know, divorce and, and whatnot. Yeah. yeah no, was, genuinely. I mean, I'm very grateful. Mm. <laughs> were you one of those people that all your mates were like, ah, oh, you should go try this on the stage? No, no, I don't have any mates that sound like that. What? So. No, she, well, you must do. <laughs> Surely you must. I would get rid of them out of my circle very no, quickly. I, if I, th th like that. I think I would fit in very well in your, in your group of friends. It's testing. It's, it's like listening to a mirror. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's like being back home. <laughs> Are you remarried? No. But you've got a fella? I have got a fella. How oh, long that, you? oh, that's so nice. You're so concerned for my well-being. Well, <laughs> no, making sure. <laughs> making well, sure it's all right. How long were you married for before you got divorced? Uh, seven years. And out of the seven years, how many of them were awful? Uh, none of them. Oh, okay, yeah, that's so nice. it came as a bit of a shock. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's nice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, it wasn't really. No, it was, you know, it was fine. Just sometimes things end, don't they? So are you still yeah. friends with him? No, no. I, no. Don't, I don't trust people who are friends with their exes. I think it's weird. <laughs> I think it means you're clinging on and hoping for a reconciliation. <laughs> well, but then, to be fair, though, you're coming from the side where you were dumped. So, you know. Yeah, there's no need. Right. I've got loads of friends. Sure. Why would you want to be friends with them? <laughs> exactly. Right. Uh, and how long have you been with your new man for? Uh, oh, six years. Oh, that's nice. Mm. It is nice. He's lovely. I'm doing all right. And you're living Feels together? like counselling. <laughs> a little bit like counselling. No, no, we don't live together. Oh, even more sensible. That's the best yeah, thing. Yeah, it is. It's, you know, it's Brilliant. really good. We live 90 miles apart. 90? <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. It's you don't really good. like him very much, do oh, you? Oh, I love him with all of my heart, but I also love being on my own. Right. But that's a lot. I, I understand. I understand people wanting their own space, wanting their own place, but maybe on one side of town from the other, but 90 miles well, is that, a lot. That depends. You see, I travel, I'm very rarely in the same night from so, all the yeah. one place. That, you know, so I'm all over the place anyway, so... Oh, no, you don't do that thing where... Does he live further down the country or further north? Further down. So if you're doing a gig in Chelmsford and you're heading back and you go, oh, I could stay at his, actually. Yeah, that. yeah, we're both geographically very convenient. Right, um, so he's there going... <laughs> He's like, I don't know if he's from the northeast, but for the purpose of this joke, he Oh, is he going to sound mm. exactly the same as me? No, he's going to be, no, he's going to be lower deeper like that. <laughs> so he's, he's out with the lads, right, having a few pints on that. And he goes, nah, it's great, man, because, like, Sarah lives 90 miles away. <laughs> so, uh, like, during the week, man, I, I don't often see her, so it's great. I get a good night's sleep. I'm going to go home, have a kebab, and get in bed. And exactly. Then, and then at 2 o'clock in the morning... Oh, no, it's... Oh, we woman, man. You no. don't live here. No, we're not spontaneous at all. And I wouldn't knock on the door anyway because I've got a key. Well, that's, that's, that's how well it's going. And that's it's a proper relationship. Oh, it's, it's you proper. put the yell on! Take the yell off! <laughs> oh, bloody hell, woman. I like the way I like that accent that you're doing. <laughs> Which I like, one, this I like one? This, that, that one down there, like... Uh, would you like him to talk like this? <laughs> no. It'd be, I'm like, really glad he it'd be doesn't. like going out with some kind of Johnny Womble. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favourite kind of Womble. Well, sure. No, it was the best ones. They were chopped out of the TV show, though. <laughs> um, now, listen, let me ask you this. Oh, a couple of things. Number one, we got an email from Emily, from Emily Ree, which says, Hello, Sarah and Chris. I have an interview in London today to get into university, and I am terrified. But I would feel much better if the lovely Sarah said good luck to me. And that's Emily May from Tunbridge Wells. Well, best of luck to her, but she needs to know as well, I think that it's not the be-all and end-all, because I didn't go to university. There you I'm go. I'm doing all right. Brilliant. So. Mm, that's exactly. the advice that you need to be no, given. No, no, it's, you try hard. Takes the pressure off. Well, I think, I think you, you try hard, but it's not the... You know, it's like when you when people's A-level re results come out and everybody panics, and you think, yeah, but you can always reset them, you can always do something else, you know, it's not it's not the be-all and end-all. So right. that's what the attitude you should go in. It would be great, hmm. well, I it's I not everything. I slightly disagree, because I went to Oxford, but, and I... And I think that what for a day trip? Yeah, mm. <laughs> it was a court appearance. I didn't. I didn't, go, I didn't even go to college, let alone uni. 
exactly. You're doing all right. I, you? I don't even. I'm doing all right. I, I don't <laughs> even understand when, when people used to have their conversations about uni life. I'm like, I didn't even know what they were talking about. Let alone feel as I was missing out on some crazy lifestyle. No, I don't. I, I just worked. I just worked. See, for me, I got all the best bits of uni without the debt because I was still eating pizza four nights a week. Yeah, you were. <laughs> well, up until about a year ago. And getting up at 10 o'clock in yeah. the morning to and go to work. And never hoovering. Yeah. <laughs> you can do that with you a know, job. I don't, I don't want to show off, but when I was living mm. at home with mum and dad and working in store at Radio Top Shop, the DJ bit didn't start till 11, so I was getting up at 10, so yeah, it was perfect. a double. Student hours. I had a student life, but with a mm. regular income, yeah. 2 93 an hour, so I was happy. <laughs> That was a real person when I heard that. I yeah. just assumed it was a recording that was played all the time. Sorry no, about me. that. I did it in Leeds. Was there was you. a studio and everything. Really? Does it still there was a now? studio? Mm. Wow, I probably heard you then. Crazy times. Oh, bless you. And if you drag on the blouse at the moment, why not finish it off with a lovely pair of shoes? It takes <laughs> a lot of too many broken hearts. You should have said nice things to the people who are in the top shop changing rooms trying to get in clothes, <laughs> but, but, but getting stuck because they're normal size. <laughs> Calling for assistance <laughs> yeah. for cubicle number four. <laughs> well, you could see in, but you could see there's like, a, you know, the walk-in bits, the fitting rooms, and then you'd take a left, and that's where all the cubicles were. So what you'd see, and the studio was, suspe was like suspended from a ceiling, so you'd go up a little step ladder to get in. So you'd be sitting there all day and you'd look out and what you'd see is you'd see the girl go in mm. and her mate hover. Yeah. Mm. And then her, the other girl would come out and go, thumbs up something, whatever. You'd come out and do your twirl. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you'd come out and go, you look cracking in the grey, my darling. Oh my like that. God, that's so <laughs> creepy. That is so <laughs> creepy. That's dark, isn't it? Do you not think? <laughs> uh, I once got stuck in a dress in the changing room. <laughs> no. Yeah, and I had to go and get a lady to come and help oh, the chair to cut no. me out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you weren't there then. <laughs> Want some scissors, my darling? <laughs> exactly. People ringing for the fire brigade. <laughs> you should have got the next size up, love. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so what do you do now? Are you going to hang out in London? Or are you? Are you I'm home? going home today. I'm going home and I'm back on the road tomorrow so I'm just going to sit in my pants uh, when I get in and nice. just eat a terrible food and watch my telly. Nice. I'm really looking do, you, to it. do you cook? No, no, I'm very good with the microwave though. Right. Do <laughs> I'm you, like a whiz with a microwave. You, lo you love a cake? I do love a cake. Yeah. Yes. And do you have, have you made cakes? I made one right. uh, ever and it was for my ex-husband. That's not the reason it became ex. Right. It's probably one of the reasons to mm. be fair. And he said, be lovely with a bit of custard on, which is never a compliment. Oh. <laughs> I know. So would I didn't, I never made any. Would you like to learn? I could do, I could do that, couldn't I? Maybe that I'll do that when I'm, when I'm painting walls and, and growing tomatoes. I could learn mm. how to cook. Well, we should, we should, we should get. So I want someone to come and teach you how to make a cake. Okay. Because you'd love that. That'd be yeah, a nice that thing would be to really, do. Yeah. Well, you see, I don't know if there should always be a journey between me and cakes. I should always have to go out for it. If it was just my living room and kitchen are open plan, I could probably lean from the sofa and make a cake. <laughs> right. And then I would never be. I'd have to be lifted out like on Jerry Springer by a crane. <laughs> <laughs> but it, I don't, but you'd still, you still, it's more effort to make one than it is to walk down to. Well, I suppose there's the mixing, isn't there? How does that yeah. up, how build does that up build up, well, build up muscles. Yeah, well, well, I tell well, you what's building up my muscles. Let me tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Wowzers. <laughs> if you'd have been baking more, maybe you wouldn't have got divorced. <laughs> I don't know. Be nice. Sorry, I've been, been nice. You've been so nice so I far. Been nice. I've have been you, nice. Have you ever tried marriage? You haven't, have you? No. No, no, you see. You've not got the bottle, have you? No. No. I'm not cut out for marriage. Are you not? No. No, neither am I, though, and I've done it twice. <laughs> well, you just found that out now, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> it didn't stop you. Uh, Sarah, lovely to see you. Thank you very much for having me. Have a safe trip back home. Don't forget to send all our love to your fella and that. I will do, like. Aye. I, I hope he starts talking like this. This could be like bedroom voice. <laughs> oh, no. That oh, wait, Sarah, brace yourself. Just a little bit of sick coming up in the back of me throat there. Oh. <laughs> well, whatever floats your boat, love, really. I'm going to be honest. Sarah Millican, ladies and gentlemen, very funny. Thank you.